Hey guys, what's up? Today we create this. The free footage I used to create the scene was taken from pixel.com. All the link in the notes below. To start, I will import the footage into After Effect and create a new composition. I am just going to use this part of the footage so I am trimming the footage here. To add a 3D model, we will track the camera movement of the footage. So I will go to the track option and click on the camera track. If you do not find the track option, go to windows and check the track option. Now here I will be select any one of the track points, then right click and select create null and camera. Create some more nulls, it will help to understand the distance and position in Maya. Now select null and camera. Then go to file, the script, then AE3D export modified. If you do not have this script installed, I have given the link in the description or you can also download it from Google. Copy the file and go to C drive, then program file, Adobe, After Effect, support file, script and paste it here. Now export the camera. I will name it camera track and export. When we come to Maya, open the 3D model, then import the camera and go to the panels, select the camera and lock the camera. Many times we move the viewport by mistakes. This creates a problem with the camera track. So we will keep the camera locked. We have to scale the model a bit because we cannot see it in the camera view. Now animate the model. To create a fire in the engine, we will make a cylinder, put it in the engine and change it to mesh light. We will do light intensity 10, exposure 5 and sample 3 and the rest will have the same valuation. I will select those 4 lights and put them inside the 3D model group. It will animate the light with the model. For lighting the scene, we will use HDRI. For that, create environment light and apply an HDRI image to it. Then I will increase the sample amount to 3 and camera value to 0. So our render will come out without any background. To create sunlight in the scene, I will make an area light and put it in the right position and adjust its intensity and exposure. Then to bring a warm feeling to sunlight, I will increase the temperature by clicking on the color temperature. After that, go to render settings and check merge AOVs. Frame animation name hash.ext according to the scene, start frame 0 and end frame 250. Keep the quality at 1080. To reduce noise, increase the camera value to 4 and diffuse value to 3. I will go to the ray depth and make the total 15, diffuse 2 and specular 2. Ray depth makes our light bounce better. Check the denoise beauty AOVs and output denoise AOVs. Set the file name. Then render. After the render is complete, come to after effect. I will pre-compose all this. Then I will import the render file. and make it a little longer. To create fire, duplicate the layer and add glow to it. Glow is affecting the whole model. We will mask the engine area and animate the mask according to the model movement. After that, change the color to A and B color. A color will be orangish, 
and B will be red, glow threshold will be 100, radius 200 and the intensity will be 3.5. To create heat, I will add turbulence displacement. The amount will be 20 and the size will be 25. Now to create a dusty atmosphere, add a black solid and add fractal noise to it. Scale the noise to 200, contrast 5, brightness minus 5 and opacity 20 and change the mode to the screen. Then import the dust footage and change the mode to the screen. Add CC vector blur and increase blur amount to 30. To add color, I will make the adjustment layer and add some curves, some lumetri colors, and add a lens player. And the composition is complete. If you like the video, then comments below, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and you can support me with the thanks button. If you are watching the video on Facebook, follow my page. I will be back with some of these interesting things about VFX. Until then, bye.